When you head to the doctor, do you know exactly what it's going to cost you, even for the smallest procedure? Well, one local family was shocked to get a bill for more than $2,000, all for a treatment they could have done themselves at home. Seven Year Side Zena Pineda has details. I was shocked. I was shocked. Sheila Sachs was floored by this, a big bill, over 2200 for a tiny treatment. Were you surprised when you got that big bill? Yeah. It's a common planner's ward, easily treated using over-the-counter cures, but the 11-year-old was at her annual <coughs> wellness checkup. The doctor said, is there anything you want to ask me? And I said, well, she has this little thing on the bottom of her foot. He said, I can fix that. Goes, gets a spray. And it felt cold? Yeah. And then we put a Band-Aid on and her sock and we left. Then the charge came, more than 2200 for the removal of up to 14 skin growths. The patient's portion? $934.16, and that is what I must pay. Sheila immediately called the doctor, her kid's pediatrician, for more than a decade. The last time we were here, we successfully helped a family fight a bill for $2,800 to remove a splinter. Guess what? It's the same office, same doctor. Same scenario, a wellness visit for her son at NYU Langone in Huntingdon. After we got involved, the $2,800 bill was extracted as easily as tweezing out that splinter. And we don't owe them anything. Both she and Sheila got sent to collections for their unpaid bills, though. I find it horrifying. That's when a friend showed her our $2,800 splinter story online, and she called us. So we paid a visit to the clinic, and within a day. It really was amazing how quickly you were able to achieve success. We tried and tried and, and could not get it resolved, and we could not have done it without you. The bill from April charging $2,200 was finally zeroed out. Thank you, Seven, on your side. Well, NYU Langone told us the patient was not overbilled for the services she received, so why did they remove the charge? It stated that patients are looked at individually, and if there's a need for financial assistance, we will provide it, but the family says they never asked for financial assistance. So we asked NYU repeatedly what that meant, maybe how others could apply, but we never got an answer. The big takeaway, if you get a service from a doctor that's over and above the reason for your visit, ask if there's going to be a separate charge first. That way... You won't get blindsided.